Welcome guys, this is Data Slash Fun YouTube channel. Today we will see how to create reports with R Markdown in R Studio. So Markdown is a very nice option to do reporting of any kind of data set in R. So for that please guys subscribe this YouTube channel for getting latest update in data science and press a bell icon for getting latest video notification. So let's see how to create reports with R Markdown in R Studio. For creating report, I will use a Titanic data set. Titanic data set is an inbuilt data set in Titanic package. So first you need to install this package Titanic by this command install.packages Titanic. I already installed this package in my R Studio. That's why I just recall this package by library function. So library Titanic and for making plots i will use a ggplot2 package i just recall this package as well library ggplot2 so this data set is contained in titanic package so i am just remaining this uh, package uh, sorry this data set as a df df is equal to titanic train just check the details of data set data set is very simple this is the uh, traveler data set on the titanic ship so it's very understandable data set first column is a passenger id then server yes or no zero and one then p class means passenger class then uh, name of that passenger then gender then age and all these the columns are related to the passenger details so let's we firstly we do analysis on r studio then we will make the report in r markdown so first i create a our course in my R Studio. First, we rename this data set as a DF, then we check on the structure of data frame by this command str df. So, this data frame contains 891 observations and 12 columns, and these are the type of that columns. Some are integer, some are character, or integer and characters okay some are numbers then next we will do summary for that data set by this summary function summary df by this function you can check the minimum maximum of each column mean median or maximum or if any ENAs are present in that column so in each column there are 177 ENAs are present then we do data representation in by ggplot i am making one bar plot for explaining p class with the gender so this is command for creating a bar plot so in male and female in three third class pa passenger there are lots of male are traveling with third, third class and here also male also much more male females also traveling with the passenger third class then next i will do histogram analysis with respect to age and gender by this command ggplot df on x-axis age and geom underscore histogram for plotting histogram plus facet for making this type of different window with respect to gender so you can see here the age group between 20 to 30 lots of males are traveling on the titanic and in age group between 30 to 40 lots of female will where travel with the titanic sorry then next i will do density plot for getting some insight with respect to age and class so this is a code for plotting density plot uh, ggplot df on x axis is age fill this density plot with respect to class so you can see here on the p class 3 the aged persons are traveling 40 to 80 there are lots of 
person traveling with the class one then the second class the age group between 30 to 35 will travel with this class and age group 20 to 25 there were more people traveling with the class 3 so you can change here the 5 as well so change the darkness of this plot so this is code is built in the, our R studio but we want this report so just go up here and I'm making one another window for markdown so you can see here here is uh, one option in new file R markdown just click on that give any name like uh, titanic titanic data analysis give your name or company name and choose the format which you want in report and press ok so this file will open in your next window just remove these other things just remove this this is just information if you want you can read this I am inserting one chunk of R here you can see here in insert there is option R and this type of chunk will be insert in your window I am just going here and copying this term and pasting here outside the chunk load the required libraries and just pasting all this thing in this chunk okay then next chunk I will add it here and do same thing just copy and pasting outside the chunk title of this process data loading and the R code will be pasted in here in the chunk of R so all these tasks I already done in my another window here this is I already done this task copy and pasting in this chunk in R markdown this you take care about if you want to any title paste this title in outside or make this title in outside the chunk and write only R code in the chunk and if you want to write any result you can uh, write the result outside the chunk I am just showing one chunk, running one chunk. You can see here, here is a run button. You can run this particular chunk by pressing this run button. And here is option if you want to not show any warnings, messages or use page tables, you can just unselect this and apply. The next chunk I will run this one and you can see the result of this chunk in the below of the this chunk so this is more similar to our Jupyter uh, interface it will give the result of in each and every chunk below the chunk uh, below the that chunk next I am just checking the structure of data frame you can see here the structure of data frame and the uh, conclusion of this structure data frame is there are 891 rows and 12 columns and then you can see here the plot just pressing this so here is the one message if you don't want to see it just unselect this all and apply and again run this and you can see here there is no message or any warning okay similarly this type of the plot density plot here is also one warning so just go here in setting 
and unselect these all things which you don't want to see okay so this is a simple r markdown use case you can use these for the doing this type of report so next task is how to convert it into html or word file here is option kint go here and select any of the option you can create a report in pdf word or html i am going to create in html i am just pressing this html you can give any name I'm giving here report one and save it so it is running here and our report will be ready see so our report name titanic data analysis then my name and then the date of this report then loading libraries data loading check data frame details check summary details of this data frame then analysis of bar plot with gender and p class and histogram analysis of age with gender and last is density plot analysis with uh, age and p class so you can give the here description of this plot also you can do the conclusion of this plot here also by writing the outside of chunk and this will be see here if any conclusion you want to write so thank you guys hope you understand this type of how to do report in your R studio if you want to this in a word file just select the word and it will be open in the word file So you can see here this report will be open in word file and you can edit as well because it's very easy to edit any task in word file and you can do any comments on this plot here okay guys hope you understand how to do reporting in R studio by using markdown package just try this technique on your data set and make a very nice report to submission of any assignment or any project and please subscribe this youtube channel and thank you for watching